guys, now you've had a bit of a practice of your summertizing skills, which are always good to keep ticking over, let's think about our main maths job for today. So, we are going to think about combining amounts today. Can you remember what that word combine means? This is our action for it, isn't it? Can you remember? Well done. When we combine something in maths, it means that we bring things together. And when we combine amounts in maths, it means that we bring two, it might be two groups, it might be three groups, it could be as many groups as you'd like, but we're going to bring all of those groups together and we're going to see how many we've got once we've brought them all together. So how many have we got in total? Hmm. Now, like I said earlier, we did this a few weeks ago with the Very Hungry Caterpillar, where we tried to find out how, many, how much food he ate, didn't we, on different days of the week. And today, we're going to do it using our mini beasts. What we're going to do today is we're going to see how many different mini beasts we've got in a jar. So, for today's job, you're going to need a nice jar, okay? And, oh, I'm just getting my box out actually so I can put my jar high so you can see it. So here's my jar. I'm going to open it up ready to put my mini beasts in. And then guys, it's up to you. You might use toy mini beasts if you've got some. Or you might use gems or bits of Lego. Whatever you'd like to be your mini beasts. I'm going to use my good old counters that have served me very well over the last few weeks, haven't they? So these are going to be my stand-in mini beasts today. Now, what I'd like you to do is if you click onto the next card, you'll see you've got a stack of different amounts of mini beasts to combine together and work out how many you've got. Okay, so have a little look at the picture for me and see how many mini beasts you've got on the outside of your jar first. Okay. So if we look at the first one, I've got three Bs. So I'm going to get how many counters? I'm going to get three counters. And those three counters are going to be my three Bs. And I'm going to put them in my jar. One, two, three. And then on the other side of my jar, I've got four butterflies. So how many counters do I need to get this time, guys? Four. Now, just to make it easier for us to follow, I've gone for a different colour counter. But it doesn't really matter. You could use exactly the same objects, that's fine. Four, so one, two, three, four. So I've put them in my jar, and if I give it a good shake around, it's easy to see that I've definitely combined my amounts there, haven't I? They're definitely all smushed in together now. Now, I said we wanted to see how many we've got all together. So what am I going to do now? How will I know? Well done. To find out how many I've got all together, I need to count how many are in my jar, don't I? So to do that, I'm going to tip my jar out very carefully. And I'm going to see how many mini beasts I've got in my hand. I've got one, two three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, so I could say that three bees and four butterflies combine to make seven. When I start with them separately and then I combine them together, I put them all together, I get seven. Hmm. Let's click on to the next one and look at another example together. Okay, so I'm going to put my counters back over on one side and leave my jar empty for my next go. Okay, on the next card it says I need four spiders. So how many counters do I need first of all? I need four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put them straight into my jar. One, two, three, four. On the other side of my jar, I've got six ladybirds. So how many counters do I need to put in this time? Six, well done. One, two, three, whoops, four, five, and six. Okay, I need 
need to make sure they're combined, don't I? So I'm going to give them a good old smush around. And then how am I going to find out how many I've got all together, guys? I need to tip them out and count them. So again, very carefully, oh, especially if you're using a glass jar like I am. Last step then is to count up how many counters I've got all together. Now I've combined them all into one big group. How many have I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so what could I say, guys? I could say four and six combine to make ten. If I start off with four and I start off with six and then I bring them all together, I get ten. So, guys, that is what I would like you to practice doing for me today. Find yourselves a jar, or if you haven't got a jar, it could be a bowl or any kind of container. Find yourself some counters or some objects or some gems or anything you'd like to use to be your pretend mini beasts. And hey, if you've got mini beast toys, use those even better. And then you're going to look at the amounts in the pictures, put them in your jar, combine them all together, and then pour them out and count up how many you have got, okay? Once you've combined each amount, could you fill in the form for me and let me know how many you find? Count carefully, guys. Go steady, okay? Don't rush. Make sure you're counting each amount carefully when you're putting them in and when you're counting up your final group. See how you get on. And I will look forward to looking at your forms a bit later on and seeing how your combining went. Have fun, guys, and I will see you after lunch.